Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm Sharice. I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're doing uh, Giannis Papanopoulos, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, covering Ghost Love Score. Yep, and it's Cover Wednesday. Yep. So, this should be really interesting with this man's range. I'm super curious to hear what it sounds like. Yeah. And I... which version he decides to do. That too, yeah, that's true. Cause there's, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but he's, I'm just curious because he he's got such an amazing range. Definitely. I just love his voice. So let's get into it. <laughs> let's see. do this one in parts because it's a long one plus just wow <laughs> oh Giannis just amazes me <laughs> I, I think I think maybe in sections I could pick up that it's not a woman but most of the time I'm I don't think I could like every like, so often <laughs> maybe a syllable maybe feels a little maybe deeper than I don't know. But wow, I'm just impressed by this man. His range just is amazing. Like so Not only range. Tone. So wide. Yeah, but I'm just saying like to stay up there, I mean that's talent. Like he's staying up in the high range just this whole section he was up there. Like that's that takes talent. Um but yeah, he's got an amazing tone too, though. Like he's got a lot of colors in his voice, as I've commented before. Um, like he's just such a talented singer. I, <laughs> this is already just so good. <laughs> the breath control on this man too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, he's got great breath control. Um, and I, I'm trying to figure out. Like I think it's just his own version. I don't think he's like copying either Tanya or Floor. I think, I guess, yeah, maybe I, closer to Tadia? Maybe? I guess I'll have to hear a little more to, just, like, comment, like, what version I think he's closer to. Because he's not really 
really, I wouldn't really consider him like classical. He's still pretty like he's more contemporary sounding. He's just super high. <laughs> God, this man is so talented. <laughs> he was really getting into the intro as well. Like you could see him like like he was on the keys himself. He was feeling that music. Yeah. This, I mean, this this whole song is vibes, so... Let's continue. Yep. Gonna pause again. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I actually got goosebumps when you started like singing a little bit lower, which was like, whoa! I don't usually get goosebumps too much with the singer, so he's got that, count, like... like he's like a one man band in himself with the vocals. Like he could sing. That's crazy. I guess the real point to figure out what version he's kind of doing or if he's going to go and do his own is like how much grit he puts into the upcoming section. Because you know, Floor puts in that nice amount of grit and um, belts it out really strong. Tadio is a little more controlled, a little more operatic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will say we did get like a. He did do a little bit of a classical mix in that one area where he kind of got like a little bit lower it kind of had a little vibrato but he's staying pretty contemporary in this one wow this is just this man's super amazing but yeah his range like and his transition when he was like super high and then he got a bit lower like that was a nice smooth transition yeah, he slowly like, brought that shit down like I told you, like, I had goosebumps at that text, and I was like, ooh, like... <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah.
Pause again. I know it's a lot of pausing, but like, just so much to talk about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he brought the grit and yeah, he was really getting it. Like, <laughs> yeah, coming straight out of that in, uh, instrumental section. It felt like it was a mixture of Flora and Tare, and then he went straight into the grit. Wow. Yeah, like he had a little bit of a classical mix in there, but, um, but yeah, like yeah, he got, he added the grit. Like he really, like he was really getting grit. Like I like that. Like wow, it almost feels like he's doing what we really enjoy in covers. He's making it his own. He's not really doing either style. He's kind of mixing the both to create his own style. Yeah, I was gonna say like he's taking the, some of the elements, vocal elements he likes from each um, version, and yeah, making it his own. Like, I, this is just a whole, I can't even, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna, when I do rate this, this is gonna be as its own, I'm not gonna compare it, cause this is yeah. too good, like, oh my god, like, vocally, <sighs> this is amazing. I don't even know what I could rate this, like, so far, like, it's so good. <laughs> oh my It's just god. so good, let's finish it though, but wow, <laughs> this man is just so amazing. Before we talk about anything else, I just want to remind y'all, please go back. We stopped a lot during this one. And I don't know if people like to skip around our, our middle section because it's usually where we stop. But there's been like four or five stops. So if you want to know everything we've said, please go check and, you know, take a look at those. But now. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, yeah, make sure to, you know, go back in case you didn't. Uh, yeah, see that I was just saying go ahead with like anything you had to say. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
this is yeah like that whole like end section oh my gosh because like he definitely found that nice mixture between uh the floor version and the tari version because he started out like really high classical and then he went down like higher but he was still higher but he was doing more like grit a little bit yeah i think on the floor gasm note as it's become you know it's become known um i feel like he'd had a little more he took an extra breath that floor didn't take at least not in the vac version I feel I'll have to go back and it's been a while. I feel like he took an extra breath there. He may have. Well, also you have to remember he. It seemed like he wasn't like he didn't hold the. I look at least from what I remember, he didn't hold the note out as long. Like it looked like he took a breath after he did that like higher classical section. He took a little bit of a breath and then he mm -hmm. got into the more gritty, like the more grit high section. So. He changed where he took the breath. I think that's what it was. Maybe. I mean, I'll have to go back and look at, uh, like, floor version or something. But it, it seemed like he took his breath in a different place. But, man, this man is talented. Right? It, yeah, it honestly I, feels I, like I, a hybrid. Yeah, that's what I would say. Like, this is definitely a mix of the two... Um, definitely, I would say it's going a little bit more towards floor version, only because he only did a few sections that were like a little bit of a classical mix. Yeah, it, should, it might be because he's not might not be as um, classically trained. That's true too, or he just prefers being on the more contemporary. I mean, we don't know, um, but yeah, who knows? We can speculate. <laughs> We could speculate. It just seems like, you know, this one, he definitely stayed more contemporary and then added some more grit. Mm -hmm. And I will say that end note, he probably could go higher if he chose because as we know from Blind and Frozen, <laughs> he's got some crazy high notes. So I feel like maybe he took it down a bit just to be different. Like maybe. In his own. But man, this man is so freaking talented. I'm glad he... It sounds like he used... Legit Nightwish audio. So that's always a good thing. One of my biggest pet peeves, I know a lot of people do it, you know, for copyright reasons, is like not using official audio because it really messes with. If you're trying to like feel for the song and you know the song, like, you know, Ghost Love Score, it's like if you use audio that's slightly different, it could trip you up. Either use official audio or really change it up where you feel it feels different at the same time. Like, um, Maniva, she uses uh, Quentin and to do a lot of her guitar work. It's different mm -hmm. enough that it's like okay, yeah, this is different. But some people use like bootleg audio or something, and it's just like, eh. but, yeah, wow. Sometimes it's just not as good when you do that using bootleg audio. Um, but this was just so good. Like, uh, like I said before, I think for the rating for this, I'm not comparing this to necessarily to the original. Since like mm -hmm. he's like vocally, he did so. He found areas to change it up a lot. Like, I'm just like, wow. I don't know what to say about this. This is just so he's just so talented. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. I'm just still trying to process this man because. We've done, uh, we know we've done songs from him before, so we knew you know he can get high, but just hearing him do Nightwish is just something an altogether different experience. Yeah, I'm still trying to get it all, like take it all in, like um, yeah, because this was just so good. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, vocally he just. And he really felt the music too, like just looking at his facial expressions, <laughs> like, um, yeah, he was really taking in the music. He was really feeling when he was singing about, um, so that's always a plus for me. Like he was really into the song. I also really enjoyed that he did the whole thing with all the instrumental sections and everything. It could would have been easy to you know cut them out or trim them down or whatever, but he did the whole thing, and I love that. Because that adds to the environment of the song, the feeling, the emotion, like. It would have been too jarring, I feel, to cut out those instrumental sections. 
just for the, a pure vocal cover. Yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say I, I that wouldn't I don't think that, I mean I won't say it won't be as good, but it just would be missing. I would still feel like then it's missing something. They if he did that, but um, this though, oh my gosh. Like I said, like the fact that I got goosebumps in the middle of it. Like, there's very few singers that do that. Well, Floor did when I first. Heard, I got Floor Gasm. <laughs> yeah, Floor Gasm. Yeah. And uh, Sharon too. I think yeah. Floor Sharon and Simone too. So yeah, like the big ones. Um, yes, but so that like the just the, so much feeling. Um, and like I said, this was wow. I'm not. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna give this a ten. I can't. This is too good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a ten too. Like, oh, well, I think the only other tens we've given is Ghost Love Score and Greatest Show. Yeah, I think I gave a ten to um, what was it one of Floor's solo songs? Like, mm. but yeah, we don't give uh, too many tens out. Like, <laughs> no, um, I don't even think the Toddy version got a ten out of us, just because. Mm. I think just because we preferred Floor's more contemporary voice. Did we do the Tarya version for the channel, though? I know we listened to it, like, you let me listen to it, but did we do it for the actual channel? That, I, I don't remember. Did we do it for the channel? Maybe we did a long time ago. <laughs> yes, we did uh, End of an Era version back in August of 21. Okay, I'll have to go back and uh, oh, wow. see what I... That's actually kind of funny. It was almost... A year to the day between your first uh, hearing of Ghost Love Score, which was back in 2013, to end of an era, Ghost Love Score. Ten days shy. August 13th, 2020, when you first heard uh, Ghost Love Score, and then August 3rd of 21, you heard end of an era's version. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to go back and listen to the Tyre's version to even see uh, what I said, because that was, like, two and a half years ago now, so... Yeah. Do I remember not much? I mean, I remember I still liked it, um, and I remember that, yeah, I mean, I like, you know, Tyre's got a beautiful classical voice, I have nothing against her. No. But I, I would have to, I would have to listen to it again, because, like I said, I don't remember too much about what I said, but... I know I probably said I liked her voice, and but I think I still preferred the Floor version because Floor did more vocally. I think that was one of the things I remember. I think I said, mm, yeah. So, um, but yeah, this was really good, and yeah, we just, I just can't wait to hear more because I see that he's done other covers. So. Yeah, we'll have to look at what other covers he's done. Like, uh, Tilly King, we haven't done that. Haven't done that. Sahara, I don't know if we've done Sahara yet for the channel. I'll have, we'll have to go. I know we had. I know we talked. We had. Oh, we did uh, this one. Oh, we, ooh, with Inter we just did. Oh, we just, we just did, did that one recently. But yeah, uh, definitely coming back to Pan. Uh, not Panas, wow, Giannis. And yeah, so uh, please check links in the description for the video and all our social media. And we just want to let you know that both our Patreon and PayPal are now open. So please just send us your request, and the links will be down in the description. Until next time, bye. Bye.